Hi, this is Jordan from Special Stage Systems, and today I've got something pretty cool to show you. It's actually a secret feature of the World Core. I haven't been able to talk about it publicly yet because we were running an Easter egg competition, uh, but one of our users, Darren Blondin, uh, finally cracked the code and discovered the secret feature. So now uh, it's my pleasure to introduce it to the rest of our user base. So the secret feature is wormholes. Wormholes are basically an abstraction that allow you to move sprites from one location to another without traversing the normal screen space. And the way that you unlock the feature is by using the speed toggle. Uh, there's a code that you input, which is up, 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 down, down, up. Uh, and you see now that that has placed a black highlight on the screen. That black highlight determines where the wormhole is going to be placed and uh, it's moved around the same way that you would do dynamic map destruction using the tile index and tile invert inputs. So we can just uh, scroll that highlight around using the tile index input, and then when we're ready to place a wormhole, we simply send a trigger to the um, tile invert jack, and it flashes and uh, places a wormhole. The wormholes always appear in pairs, so now we have to decide where we want our second hole to be. And let's place one over here in the corner. And so now, uh, when we move our sprite around, uh, functions as normal until it touches the hole, and then it will teleport to the exit. Uh, and that allows you to create um, some pretty interesting asymmetrical uh, gameplay patches where one sprite has easy avenues of escape and the other one doesn't, uh, things of that sort. Only two wormholes can be placed at a time. Uh, when you would like to change the position of your wormhole pair, uh, simply re-enter the code, and again that's starting from the center position of the toggle, up, 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 down, down, up. That will erase the currently placed pair and um, restore access to the highlight. Uh, wormholes respect and respond to uh, gravity and jumping arcs, and to demonstrate that let's put a wormhole down here on the ground, and then another one uh, higher up on the screen, uh, for instance, over here. Um, now we will uh, enable gravity, grounding sprite one. And as we approach the wormhole, you'll see that he'll, he'll sort of fall into the hole as you would expect and, and continue his descent on the other side of the screen, like so. You can also jump into a hole and pop out the other side, like so. By placing one wormhole immediately above the other, we can actually create infinite falling loops, like so. Uh, this can be useful as a sort of steady rhythmic oscillation in sound and music patches. For instance, if we introduce Sprite 2 into the field, uh, and patch the Sprite 1 to Sprite 2 collision output um, to uh, trigger some sounds. You can achieve interesting looping patterns. By disabling gravity, we can actually achieve infinite speed in our infinite falling loop as well. Wormholes can also be placed across multiple maps, and the world core will automatically switch between them. Uh, so for instance, if we place a wormhole uh, in the grass here, and then sweep to a new map, for instance, let's use uh, this little square one, and now place our second wormhole, uh, say, right here. The world core will now remember which maps our wormholes are placed on. So if we fall into our wormhole here on map one, it should uh, pop us out the other side on map six, like so. And if we time our jump correctly, we should be able to um, jump back out to map one. 
When wormholes are placed on the screen, the top edge collision output actually transforms into a wormhole collision output, which fires whenever Sprite 1 is on top of a wormhole. Uh, and in this example, I have it patched up to a white noise generator, uh, as well as having it patched into the uh, palette glitch input to give a little, a little flash when entering uh, or exiting a wormhole. Um, and finally, if we place two wormholes directly on top of each other, uh, we create a kind of massive singularity that will devour the entire universe. Alright, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration, and I hope you put the wormhole feature to good use. Again, thanks to Darren Blondin for cracking the code and discovering the wormhole feature. Uh, see you next time. Thanks.